Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Charlotte, and today we are going to be doing the Mississippi Jones quest and it's also known as James's treasure hunt and today I'm filming part one of the video and part two will be the next part of the video. So let's go. Okay, so we're here with James and he's trying to get us to help him find different pieces of the treasure map. James is trying to make us look for California Jones's grave, which is he said it's up high, um, looking down to California. I mean, Fort Pinto. So let's go look. Okay, so we're going to come over here. And oh yes, the disco is going, how nice. Um, and we're going to look for a place that has a good view of Fort Pinta. Why do you know the bridge? Okay, so we're gonna look for Doy's Abbey because that's pretty up high and it's looking over for Fort Pinta and it's a hill. So maybe that's where it is. And there aren't any question marks on the map, so it's really hard to find. So we found it, and we're going to talk to her gravestone. A bouquet of dandelions? I don't, I don't know someone who likes dandelions. Maybe that person can help me find the next piece of the map. I better bring the bouquet of dandelions. Okay, so now we have to go find who likes the dandelion, likes dandelions, and there isn't any question marks on the map. Mrs. Holdsworth likes flowers, so maybe Mrs. Holdsworth will be able to help us. And we have to pick up flowers because we need to pick up the flowers to help with Farah. Okay, so we're just gonna head over. And there are the pink horses and blue horses and green horses. There's supposed to be a gold horse. I don't know where it went. <sighs> so we're just gonna head over to Mrs. Holdsworth house. And I really hope this video helps y'all because there are like no, like literally zero question marks on the map for this quest. And you just have to like figure it out if you didn't like know where to look, you'd have to figure it out on yourself and it'd probably take a long time. And as you can see, Mrs. Holdsworth has a green arrow. So we're gonna go talk to Mrs. Holdsworth and see what she has to say. Hey Charlotte, nice dandelions. Yes, California Jones is my grandmother. She loved dandelions. So I put a bouquet of them on her grave every year. An old part of a map. I might have it in a box somewhere. Okay, so she has a box somewhere that might have the map. Sure, you can have my part of the map, but I want to share the treasure, of course. I'm going to donate to the Yorvik home for orphan foals. All those poor little foals with no mothers. That's sad. Here's a part of the map. Okay, so basically she wants us to go back to James and tell him tell James what Mrs. Holdsworth said. Okay, so we've made it back to James. What are you doing, Charlotte? Is Mrs. Holdsworth on the treasure now, too? That's also coming out of your share. If, if you keep doing this, there won't be anything left for you at all. The final piece of the map. I don't really know where the last piece of the map is, Charlotte. I need some more time to study your Wikipedia. Okay, so now we have to wait a whole other day. So through the magic of the internet, we can just do this. Now it's the next day. We're back to James and let's see what he has to say. Okay, so now he's sending me to find all of the clues. So we have the map here in the corner of the screen, and now we just have to follow it, basically to try and figure out the map, try and try and find where it is. Oh, here it is. So we made it, and we're gonna click on it. Hmm, 
This could be something. A loose stone in the wall. Ha! Did you really think it would be that easy if you wanted Mississippi Jones treasure? You're going to have to work for it. It won't be easy. I can't just have any old fool finding my treasure. The map was only the first clue. And if you want to find the next clue, you'll have to make make your way to Dolly's Abbey. Go as through the crow flies. We're basically going to head to Doyle's Abbey as the crow flies which means not on the road so i don't know how we're gonna do that <laughs> um so basically we need to find a way to not be on the road but go to doyle's abbey so on the grass you would think because i mean it's not a road and these are paths oh there it is i see it okay so we're gonna head over here to the little green exclamation point. You have passed my first test, but it will only get tougher. Mississippi Jones. Follow the follow the beach towards towards the river. You will find the next clue by the smallest pillar at the river's mouth. So basically, I guess we just need to follow the river. I see an exclamation point over there. It's green. Maybe that's it. Don't know. So let's go check. So let's just run on over here. And we're following like this path. It's not a road. It's a path. So maybe it'll have something. Um... Don't know exactly if it will. There it is, I see it. Okay, so I found it. We found it, and now we are going to click it. That was the second clue. It wasn't so tough, was it? Follow the running water and look for a way across. You'll find the next clue right by the water's edge. Mississippi Jones. Okay, so... Now, we need to go, and it's, he said to like follow the river's edge and we'll find it. So, we'll probably just follow this river. And it, he said also to find a way across it. And we have to go to the bridge now. Okay, we've made it to the bridge, and now we are going, we are on the other side of the river, river. So, I think I see it right under here. Yes, there it is. So we made it across the river, and we found the exclamation point. This is getting exciting. You haven't given up, have you? Stand in the center of the bridge and behold the ruler's abode. Ride in that direction before you are halfway there. You will find the next clue. Okay, so don't know what that means, but we are going to go to. He said to go to the middle of the bridge, so we're going to go to the middle of the bridge and look at the ruler's abode, which I think means the castle which would be in the direction I'm going. So I need to stop and there's the castle. Now we have to head halfway towards the castle and we'll find the next clue basically. So let's go do that. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there it is. It's even in this little stone circle. You're getting close, but there's still a ways to go. Find the nearest road and ride back to the place where you started the hunt. You will find the next clue with three roads. Join! 
Okay, so now we need to go back to Fort Pinta or to the road basically and find the, where the three roads are. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we found the exclamation point. Oh, can't click on it. Okay, there. We were too far. Um, you're really determined to find the treasure. We're getting closer. Next, there's a high cliff. Right up, right up on it and look around for the next clue. Okay, so now we need to ride up to a high cliff, which there's some pretty high cliffs in Steve's farm, so it could be any one of them, but let's go and try and find it. Where is it? I mean, oh. There we go. Okay, we found it. So it's by these dandelion kind of thing too. It says the final clue is coming up. Don't give up. You're almost there. Look again towards the ruler abode. In front of it, you'll see the Green Master's monument. You'll find the next challenge at the foot of that monument. I think it's over there because it has a bunch of rocks. I mean, and they're tall rocks and they look like they'd be important. So let's try and go find them. Okay, I found, found it and it is those rocks. <laughs> so, we're going to click on the exclamation point. There is no note here with, with the new clue, but it has to be the place that Mississippi Jones meant. That rock looks like a strange, a little strange. I wonder what those runes mean. These runes seem really old. I might need the help of a druid to decipher them. I should talk to, I should ride to Veildale and speak with Avalon right away. Okay. So now we have to ride over to Avalon in Vale Dale, and we're going to talk to him, and he's going to say, hmm, interesting, and he is going to tell us what we need to do. So we've made it to Avalon's home, and we, see, he said, hmm, interesting. The old rune stone? Yes, I know that one, but I've never really thought about it. What the runes mean? I'll go have a look. Why don't you come back tomorrow, and I'll tell you what they mean. Make sure to come back for next week's video for part two of this quest, where we find the treasure. That's the end of this video. I hope you like it, and if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, guys!